First thing, um, obviously after so many years, you've obviously developed a shorthand with each other. Is it like sort of coming back into a family again when you're making these films? Mm -hmm, absolutely, it's really great how we all just sort of fit back in to the old sort of familiar um, sort of slots and grooves and um, and yeah, like you know, you're you're thrown in, into these experiences. You know, we have to be you know with these people for so you know like all day, every day for however many months. And um, and yeah, we just all naturally really sort of got very close. And how did Will sort of fit into the the group? He fitted in really well, actually. Yeah, I mean, we were very lucky to have a really nice guy. We were very worried that um, some some horrible boy would come along and break everything up and not be good. But um, no, Will was just amazing and very talented as well. We were very lucky to have him on board. And um, yeah, it was, it was just wonderful to have him as part of the cast. And obviously these characters have been on a sort of big emotional journey um, from, from Line the Witch in the Wardrobe onwards. Um, what about you? I mean, have you sort of grown with this film? Have you changed any way? Do you look back and think, oh my God, who's that person, you know? <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know, I guess, yeah, we, we've all sort of you know, been growing up so slowly in, in our own ways, and um, we've, you know, we've seen each other for so long that it sort of becomes natural, and it's, you know, it's weird for me when I look back now as of the first film, you know, not only when I look at myself, when I look at, you know, when I look at Georgie, say, oh my God, like, we're both so small. <laughs> I guess it's, it's just like looking at sort of like old family photos or something, but sort of a higher budget. <laughs> and obviously, the, you know, you talk about the budget and the effects, I mean, uh, are really impressive. I, I just wonder how much of that you're seeing on the set and, you know, how that kind of uh, comes into the That's acting That's what's process. so great about seeing the film for the first time is that mm. when you do a film with effects, you never know what's going to, you never know what it's going to look like. And it means that when you see the film for the first time, you're completely amazed about all the stuff that you didn't know was going to happen during filming and that you didn't know was going to be there. Um, we didn't even know what the sea serpent was going to look like when we yeah. were shooting. They changed it so much, so we didn't even know. So it was really cool to see it mm. the other night and looking great as well. So. And I heard the boat was on a, on a gimbal. How mm. was that for you? <laughs> <laughs> it was all right. I mean, they only actually moved it during takes, so the majority of the day was done pretty much still. They could so have no had a lot of fun sick. with that, though. They could have kind of <laughs> moved it whenever we were walking around, but they didn't, so it was no. good. <laughs> Health and safety, I think, yeah. <laughs> in the way of pranks. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it would have been a very physically demanding shoot because there is a lot of action in it, too. I mean, was there any scenes there that were really challenging? Because I imagine all the sword play and stuff, you know, takes a lot of choreography and that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's difficult to kind of think about your acting when you're doing choreography and things like that. Scandi had quite a bit of physical work. Yeah. Um, no, it's always it's always a big challenge. We had a really great stunt um, department, you know, led by Alan Popple Alan Poppleton. He did a really great job. His motto was sort of go hard or go home, and we all sort of all you know he sort of you know worked us all up, and we um, we always sort of you know, um, you know eventually you know through um, you know either being dragged along, we sort of got the results in the end. And what about the atmosphere between takes? I mean, it looks like it would have been a fun film to shoot. Was that the case? Mm -hmm. We've had a blast making yeah. more than Narnia films mm -hmm. um, and we've been very lucky that like the same crew have always returned so it's always been kind of so fun and inside jokes blah 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 banter so good really good and hopefully um, the franchise is going to continue um, even without us and we may come and do some small um, small parts you know, as, as adults um, and we will uh, we will see it all just depends on the sort of success or um, you know hopefully the success of this film um, to determine whether it's financially feasible. I think Will, for now, is a, is a very strong candidate to be able to carry mm. the um, rest of the franchise for, for the time being. Yeah. So.